Hello Blender community, here is a new add-on called Tessinate Texture Plane that will help you animate 2D texture in 3D space by filling the 2D texture with geometry so you can smoothly deform it with rigging, shape key or whatever. The core functionality of the add-on is actually heavily inspired by the one released by L'Effet Special Studio in 2017 with the tessellation script you can find on their GitHub page so big thanks to them for releasing their tool. I'll add a link to their work in the description. So without further ado, let's talk about the tool itself. Here I have the text plane tessellation add-on in the tool tab. I imported several image uh, texture as plane with the import image as plane add-on, who is a native add-on you can find and activate. Uh, really useful for this uh, the setup. And um, for example, if I select those, those three um, and click to select explain because you can select multiple at once, you can already see what's happening. It's slicing up the alpha and filling the shapes with uh, triangles. So the first thing to notice is that if you want to tweak the settings, you have this little menu here, the redo panel that you can call by default with the F9 key that helps you tweak the settings. For example, here I add more uh, less density of um, of triangle. So the first important thing I want to say about it, it's a warning. It's because sometimes it can crash Blender on some images, at least with the triangle uh, feeling activated because you can uh, use the control only mode who was just only stripping the alpha and uh, only making the contour of the geometry. You have special settings for this because when you you can see here that when you toggle on uh, control only some of the options that are specific to triangulate are gonna be grayed out and deactivated and uh, this one is fairly stable the contour mode is using only open CV module and is really stable and now as a image to test i hope i will not have problem with these images because i took random uh, transparent images from the web uh, except some like this one I generated for the tests. Uh, for example, here you have holes in the image. So if I tessellate, you can see that the hole are not, uh, the alpha in the, in the holes are not stripped. And if you use the external contour only uh, off, you can see that it's also stripping the, the image here. And also one thing I want to show is that if I use the UV uh, and uh, change this UV like this and the UV mask is on uh, you if you test it to explain with this you can see that it was sliced by the border of the UV but if it's uh, unchecked when you use the test to explain uh, you have the deformation and it's feeling uh, what's missing. So now let's try with another set of images. Here I have a very low resolution image and you can see that it's almost instant. This one uh, is a bit uh, higher resolution and you can see that it can take uh, more time so be careful of that. What I want to show also, I'm going to go in contour only mode to be sure not to crash because I crashed several times already using some images <laughs> with the tessellation. So be careful again and save your file before. Uh, another fun thing to, to use is the, with sprite sheets. If you use the tesselect on this, uh, you can see, uh, I mean, not the tesselect here because I am contour only, but you can. Uh, have the sprite sheet separated because if you go into edit mode and use the P key to make separate by loose parts and go back into object mode you have separated objects and that can, can be interesting so um, uh, you can see that it's working quite nicely and all the last parts here I'm use the uh, image example I used in the documentation and uh, but let's let's try with uh, this one to see how 
it can be useful. Here I'm gonna use a tessellation and hope it's not crashing with the demo effects. Yeah, it's okay. Um, maybe a little more density. Okay, this will this will do. And I'm gonna use another add-on I'm developing uh, to draw the rig. And it's uh, I'm planning to releasing it soon, but. Uh, for now, I'm just going to make a demo of it inside this demo. Um, here, I'm going to want this leg, then this, this. So basically, uh, it's allowed to draw on surface. Uh, it's allowed to draw a, a rig on surface. This is the purpose of this add-on. So let's say I want this. I want, I don't know. This. And if you want to for the border not to move, you better use uh, bones also on the border. So when you tweak uh, some settings, some bones, I mean, sorry, um, the rest will not move. I don't want this one actually. Um, oh, I think this is enough. Maybe one here. Okay, okay. so here if I use, I'm going to hide the Y of now and select this and automatic weights armature. And here you can see uh, if I'm going to pose modes and you can see what's happening, it's deforming and it can be really interesting to to have some animation on texture to make some puppets and read quickly a character. So the surface rig was made for that. So actually it made the demo for this, so I will not make another demo for the surface rig once I release it. Uh, about that, while I'm at it, uh, I just wanted to show that this one can draw also on these surfaces and respect, as you can see, the surface. And was also made to rig um, surface of a grease pencil object if you have a grease pencil selected. Okay, two demo in one. Now let's animate the stuff. I think I'm gonna speed this up in the video editing. And here you have the results. Hey! Nice! So here you can see what you can do. And uh, I'm gonna show the display wire so you can see what's happening. And uh, that's why the geometry is useful to uh, deforming the texture. And so, yeah, useful to make some character like this, making some slight deformation and adding life to some of your animation or background or I don't know. So that's it for the tool. I hope you can do some fun things with it. And uh, again, remember that uh, it's not really stable with the tessellate mode. So uh, as it states here in the warning of the add-on, uh, be sure to save before use. I'm I'm not responsible for the any loss of data. and. Uh, Again, thanks again for Lefe Special Studio for raising the original scripts. I don't think I could have pulled off this add-on without the script as an example. See you for the next add-on, I guess.